I don't have my previous one anymore, unfortunately. So yeah, <laughs> I really like it and it's great. For now, I have to carry my tea in this, <laughs> uh, but I've ordered new kettle. So soon I will be able to make my own tea here in the studio and I won't have to bring it over every time. I forgot my breakfast today, so this little waffle will have to uh, be enough. But I'm not going home till late today, actually quite early, so I'll eat when I get home. And that's the current state of the workshop during the day, <laughs> because yesterday it was already so dark, um, but that's how it looks like now. And to be honest, this is the first time here that I'm actually happy with this space. Not that I was unhappy before, I just wasn't very happy. <laughs> you know what I mean. I just wasn't feeling like I want to spend time here and now I, I feel more like it. And obviously I need a chair because oh my goodness, this is horrible, absolutely horrible. I need just a normal desk chair on wheels and with regulated height <laughs> because moving around, especially when I can't keep my tools on my bench and I have them over there, <laughs> so definitely get I'm making little silver bowls right now because I'm going to need quite a lot for my next designs. So I'm using fine silver wire or actually like some off cuts that I had left. And these are great because I experimented with designer scissors that were making this shape in the wire. So it was easy for me to cut it into even pieces because it's been already like marked on the metal. But I'm also uh, using these dividers to mark on this little piece of fine silver wire to have even pieces and I'm going to cut them and the balls will be of even sizes. <laughs> Why is it so hard to talk today? I don't know. <laughs> but that's that's what I'm doing now. I've also been planning my mantas over there and I will be working on them again. Whenever I come to the workshop, I usually take this little basket, it's from Ikea, and I put all of my stuff in there. It's just easier for me to keep track of what I brought in with me and to always take it back and not leave anything that I will need at home in the workshop. So it really helps me and also it's very handy to just keep it in there instead of in my bag. And this is where I keep it here. And I also have my lunch over here in an amazing little bento box. And I also have my tea. So I'm going to have a little breakfast later on. I brought some books today that I had back at home because I will be making a video today about the books that I've used to learn and I use every day actually because there's always something I don't know or I want to remember and just there are many tips in here so these are all of the books that I'm using. Okay, I just finished filming the video about the books and now <laughs> I'm going to eat because I'm really, really hungry and I can't wait to have a tea. So I'm going to take a break, I'm going to eat and then I will continue on um, the jewelry I was making yesterday, mantas.
By the way, this is how IKEA trolley looks like. This is back one, so it's smaller one. I don't know if you remember from my Bristol studio, but I had this larger one, which was thinner, but it was longer. <laughs> Goodness, how I wish I brought it with me here. I don't know, for some reason I, I gave it away. I sold it because I thought it wouldn't fit in the moving van, but... <sighs> Anyway, I got this new one now. And honestly, I wonder if they know at IKEA how useful this one is for workshops. Because truly, it's so sturdy. You can put your heavy tools on it. It's also great for the stamping block. And there's so much storage underneath too. Some people ask me if it's sturdy because it has wheels. Yes, it's sturdy, very sturdy. And because it has tools, all I have to do to move it, I just have to lift one side. It's going to be heavy, but not as heavy if I would have to lift the whole thing. So I just have to lift one side and I can move it around. Yes, yes. Yes, so first floor is cutlery. Inside of here, I have a little tomato salad with uh, mozzarella and basil. Basil, basil. Then there's second floor. Actually, this is the first floor. That was second floor. <laughs> Depends how you look at it. Anyway, inside of here, I've got some apples and gingerbread cookies. Guys, they are so good. I love them. Yesterday, we went shopping to Lidl to get some groceries and I've purchased, I think, five packs <laughs> or more. Six, six packs. <laughs> yeah, I really like them, but I don't eat them all at once. What I really love is that all of these books actually fit into this very inexpensive document holder from Ikea, so I keep them in here like that. <laughs> I've been working on these little bezels here right now, <laughs> they are really tiny. <laughs> I need to sand and file the bottom of the bezel so it's easier to solder onto the metal. I also wanted to show you what I made because I'm so proud. So there's a Korean vlog that I love to watch and this lady, she has a beautiful, very simple but very beautiful dish for these <laughs> um, incense sticks and I always wanted one but couldn't find it anywhere. So I just visited our art shop, local art shop and I've purchased clay that you don't have to to put it in the oven. <laughs> Is it oven? Uh, you don't have to burn it. Uh, it just dries off and then it becomes hardened. I really like the color. It's already white, so I probably won't have to paint it. And I wanted it to be matte, so I won't even probably, probably, I'm not sure yet, use the glaze on it. Obviously, it's not the same as the one I wanted, uh, but I think it's pretty close. I'm just so happy because now, look at that! Yay! I'm so happy! I'm so excited! This looks pretty decent. I don't work with this medium, so it was an experience. I watched Spider-Man Homecoming and I made it <laughs> while I was watching, so it was pretty therapeutic. But it's so easy, guys. If you want to have some fun, just purchase the air drying clay. Uh, it's very inexpensive and it's lovely. And I've used about two thirds of the package for, for this. <laughs> it was really awesome. So I'm going to burn my incense now. I am so happy! Yay! <laughs> Okay, so mantas are finished. 
I couldn't decide what kind of finish I want to give them, um, high polish or matte. So I went for slightly matte this time. This manta is with Ethiopian opals and with pink tourmaline. Oh, this is where you can see it a bit better. It's a bit dark now, so I'm not sure if you can see it properly. This manta is with also pink tourmaline and with aquamarine. And this one is with two moonstones and with pink tourmaline. This is a new type of this design. I wanted to try pairing the middle stone with other stones. 